What is going on, y'all? It is your girl, Abiella Akani. I hope y'all are feeling good in your bodies. It's been some time since I've done a yoga asana video, and I know that y'all have been asking for that. So I'm excited to bring that to you today. I got my friends here. We're gonna do a little yoga today with them. And they'll also be good demos because if they need modifications, you can look at some of them as well to see other ways that you can move your body. So y'all already know that our practice is always rooted in something called non-performative yoga. What that means is I don't need you to push beyond your pain zone to find yourself in this practice. I don't want you to learn by pushing beyond your pain zone. Instead, I want you to find your growth zone, find what feels good from a place of deep regulation within your nervous system, and become more aware of what that sensation feels like. If you start to push beyond your pain zone, then I want you to ask yourself, why am I pushing? Why am I trying to perform in this pose? And come back to what feels safe and secure in your body. Always take care of yourself first, hold your own space. We're gonna be focusing on the hips today, moving into the sacral chakra. Y'all know I stay talking about the chakras. And as part of our Divine Feminine Healing series, we're continuing with exploring the chakras. The sacral chakra is located within the groin and the womb. And we're gonna focus on opening up through the hips and exploring the hips 360 degrees. So really diving deep into that emotional center. It's where our self-expression, our creativity, um, sexuality, pleasure, all in balance and is housed. So notice what comes up for you as we're moving through this center and make sure that you're dropping into embodying this more. So we wanna move into embodying the practice as opposed to intellectualizing it. So really drop into sensation, drop into sensuality, drop into what you're feeling in your body so that you can discern what you're actually experiencing and feeling as opposed to thinking your way through this practice. In terms of blocks, I'm a little nervous, y'all. I, I don't usually practice with people with me, so y'all know it's always us. It's, we, we be keeping our spaces intimate, but I'm a little nervous, but it's all good. So in terms of props, y'all, if you wanna get a yoga block, go ahead and grab that. We're gonna be utilizing the block. If you want to also grab a blanket, if you have sensitive knees, we're gonna start on the knees. Go ahead and pad your knees. You can always crease your mat in the center if you need to. And then lastly, if you do not have yoga blocks at home, you can grab a big ass book, Harry Potter book, a Bible that works just fine. You can grab a shoe box and soup cans work really well. You can stack those to bring the earth to you. So let's go ahead and get started. But before we do that, y'all know that I am working on relaunching my Divine Feminine Yoga Workshop. I have not launched this program in seven years and I'm super excited to bring it back to y'all in the fall. So to make sure that you do not miss out on that announcement when registration opens, Stop the video right now, head to the link in my description box and click on that link to add your email and I'll make sure to send you the invite when registration is open. I'll see y'all in a hot second and we'll get started on our mats. All right, y'all, we're gonna go ahead and get started in a child's pose. You can drop your hips back to your heels, open your knees wide, let your belly and your chest fall through. A few options, you can extend your arms here you can drop your chin to the earth or you can take your block or your book, put your chin underneath it. Third eye rest here for a few rounds of breath start to settle in. We'll start by noticing the texture, the pace and the consistency of our breathing. No particular type of pranayama yet. You're just noticing how you're breathing and start to soften into the body. For us on this end of the screen, this is our first time practicing together, so it might feel a little awkward. And just start to settle into the body and just kind of let that fade away. And start to allow the body to relax. And begin to allow yourself to move away from kind of intellectualizing the practice, move into feeling into sensation, as well as for you at home. Take a fluid inhale in through the nostrils, feel that expand through the back. 
through the shoulder blades and piercing through the spine. And find a fluid audible exhalation out of the nostrils. Let it be full, let it be expansive. Fluid inhale in through the nostrils. Try to push the breath down towards the low belly. Fill up the entire belly and diaphragm as if you're impregnating the belly with breath. And fluid exhale out of the nostrils. Start to rock to the left and the right, just through the hips. We're gonna to start to add a little movement with our breath. From there, let's ripple it up into a tabletop. Remember, if you're at home, as you're coming onto your hands and knees, if you need to pad the knees, y'all, pad the knees. Do not try to force your way through. And just rocking left and right, left and right. Root and ground through your five fingers. Push the earth away and find a cow pose. Shine the heart up to the heavens. Tailbone shines high. Exhale, curl the tailbone in and under. Find that fluid, luxurious breath. Inhale, find your cow pose. Shine the heart up to the heavens. Tailbone shines high. Exhale, curl the tailbone in and under. Find your cat pose. Once more, inhale, find your cow pose, shine the heart high. Tailbone crips up. Exhale, curl the tailbone in and under. Inhale, come back to a neutral tabletop spine. And exhale, extend that left leg straight back. Draw the toes down so you're dorsiflexing through the foot. The foot is flexed and engaged. Push the earth away with the five fingers. And then exhale, float that left leg out to the left and root the left or excuse me, the left foot into the earth. Inhale, hands come high. Exhale, hands come towards heart center and you're gonna interlace the fingers here and press the hands forward as if you're pushing the earth away. Exhale, drop your hands down to the earth right here. Find a cow pose here. So shine the heart up to the heavens, tailbone shines high. Find that expansion through the hamstrings. Exhale, curl the tailbone in and under. Push the earth away, find your cat pose. Inhale, find your cow pose, shine the heart up, the crown of the head to the heavens, tailbone shines high. Exhale, curl the tailbone in and under, find your cat. Inhale, come back to a neutral tabletop spine. Exhale, go ahead and bend this left knee, so like you're coming to find a modified warrior two, so your left, your toes are facing out towards the left. Inhale. <laughs> Find a cow pose here, really subtle. Exhale, curl the tailbone in and under, feel that in the hips. Two more of those, inhale, cow pose, shine that heart up to the heavens. Exhale, curl the tailbone in and under. Once more, inhale, find your cow pose, shine the heart up towards the heavens, crown of the head shines high. Exhale, curl the tailbone in and under, find your cat. Inhale, find a neutral tabletop spine and exhale. Release the left hand, shine it up to the heavens. Exhale, take the left hand to the inside of the left knee. And gently push the left knee back as you drive your left knee towards the left. Now, if you want to invert your fingers, you can draw your right hand forward so your fingers are facing forward. Exhale, float your way out of the hips. Inhale, go ahead and drive that left knee towards the left. Only go to your depth, and if this bothers the inside of your right knee, then you know you need to pad it, y'all. Do not try to push through your pain. Exhale, drop out of the hips. You got one more inhale, shift forward to the left. And exhale, float out of that left hip. Inhale, take your left hand right behind your left knee and just help it come forward. And you're gonna drive your block here. Grab your block or your book and you're gonna hold it in between the hands, nice and lightly. Now, if you have a cork block, you're adding a lot of weight. So if that's too heavy, you can use a foam block or just use something lighter or omit the block completely. 
and then exhale draw that block forward pull your tailbone down as you do that so you're lengthening out the front of your right hip inhale draw that block up to the heavens Exhale, draw that block forward. Keep pulling the tailbone down. Once more, inhale, draw that block up to the heavens. Exhale, draw that block forward. Lower the block to the earth. And then bring the hands back up to the heavens. Exhale, right hand comes to the womb. Left hand comes to the sacrum. Pull the tailbone down with your left hand. Feel the womb grow into your right hand. So reducing that flexion through the low back, y'all. Find activation through the womb center. Inhale, hands come high. And then exhale, draw the hands forward. Tuck the back right toe, right knee rises. Slowly come to one leg at Tadasana. Find your balance here, right knee comes high. You might draw your hands forward. Exhale, let's slowly lunge, take it back. So we're playing with the balance here. Step the right foot back, lower the right knee down. Hands lower. Inhale, hands come high. Exhale, hands come forward. One leg at Tadasana. Shift the weight forward into the left foot. Tuck that back right toe. Slowly bring the right knee up. One leg at Tadasana. Exhale, lunge. Step the right leg back. Step the right toes back first. Then the right knee. Then the hands come high to the heavens. Exhale, lower the hands on the inside of your left foot. Heel toe the left foot out. And then with that space, just step it back. <laughs> how how y'all doing? <laughs> Opposite side. Inhale. Let's extend the right foot back. Exhale, draw it out to the right. Like you're opening up a gate. Watch my toes step. <laughs> Inhale here, hands come high. Exhale, hands come to heart center. Interlace the fingers and then press the palms forward and then lower to the earth. Inhale, cow pose. Shine that heart up to the heavens, crown of the head, and then tilt the tailbone high as well. Exhale, curl the tailbone in and under. Find your cat. Inhale, come back to your cow pose. Shine the heart up. Tailbone comes high. Exhale, find your cat. Curl the tailbone in and under. Come back to your cow, deep inhale here, tailbone tilts up. Exhale, curl it in. Find your cat. Inhale, come back to a neutral tabletop spine. Release your right hand and just invert your fingers, your left hand towards the top of the mat. Right hand tilts up to the heavens. And then exhale, go ahead and bend this right knee so you're drawing your toes out to the right. Right hand comes to the inside of that right knee. And just gently press the right knee back. And then drive the right knee out towards the right. Shift the hips forward. Go to your depth. Exhale, float out of the hips. Come back to center. Two more of those. Inhale, drive forward. Gently press into that right knee. Exhale, float your way out. Once more, inhale. Exhale, float your way out. I realize I think I forgot something, so inhale, hands come high again. Exhale, hands come to heart center. Interlace the palms here and invert the fingers. Lower the hands to the earth. Yeah, we forgot our cat cow here, so we're gonna find that. Inhale, find your cow. Shine the heart up to the heavens. Tailbone tilts up. Super subtle movement, but really deep in the hips. Exhale, curl the tailbone in and under. Push the earth away with your five fingers. Inhale, find your cow pose. Shine that heart up to the heavens. Exhale, curl the tailbone in and under. Inhale, cow pose. So shine your heart up to the heavens. Your crown of your head up. And then exhale. Curl your tailbone in as if you're driving your crown of your head to kiss your groin. Inhale, come back to neutral, just release the hands. Right hand just cups the backside of your right knee and then help it forward. 
You might grab the block in between the hands, really soft grip, and then draw the block up and over the head. Inhale here. Exhale, draw that block forward, pull the tailbone down. Inhale, block comes over the head. Exhale, draw that block forward, pull the tailbone down. Nice. Inhale, block's gonna come back overhead, y'all. Exhale, lower your block forward, and then just take it all the way to the earth. I hope that y'all can hear me. I'm not plugging my mic. We're gonna draw the hands back up to the heavens. Y'all already know the grill. Left hand to the womb, right hand to the sacrum. Pull the tailbone down. Feel the womb grow in your hand. Feel that stretch in the front of your left hip. Inhale, hands come high. Exhale, go ahead and tuck your back left toe. So we're moving into balancing our one-legged Tadasana. Exhale, shift the hands forward, shift the weight forward so it's heavy in this right foot. One-legged Tadasana, left knee comes high. Exhale, lunge, step it back super slow, use your belly. First the toes step back, left toes, then the left knee lowers. Then inhale, hands come high to the heavens. Take your time. Exhale, draw the hands forward. Shift the weight forward. Use your belly. One-legged Tadasana, left knee is coming up. Nice. Exhale, lunge. Step it back, step the left toes back, then the left knee. Hands come high. Exhale, lower the hands to frame the inside of your right foot and just heel toe your right foot out to the right. Step it back, tabletop. Inhale, let's find our cow pose. Shine the heart up to the heavens, tailbone comes high, y'all. Exhale, curl the tailbone in and under, find your cat. Inhale, neutral tabletop spine, walk the hands forward, modified plank pose. Exhale, let's lower onto the belly for five. Hug the elbows into the body for four. Chin kisses the mat for three, two, one. Chin kisses the mat here, hands on the outside of the chest. Invite the inner thighs together as, as if it's one thigh, y'all. One thigh here. One second, y'all. My, my. On the inhale, pull the tailbone down as if it's coming to kiss your heels. And then inhale, draw the head up, a little to no weight in the hands. Exhale, chin kisses the mat. Inhale, tabletop. Exhale, find your cat pose. So push the earth away. Hug the ground and hug the crown of the head and tuck the toes. Downward facing dog. Try to keep that expansion to the back of the shoulder blades as you lift the knees up. You can pedal off the knees here, y'all, one by one. Now, if you're still feeling really tight in your calves or in your hamstrings, a few options. If you have two blocks, you can bring, I'm gonna use your block, Devin. You can bring your hands to your blocks here and look, eventually my heels can kiss the earth. I'm getting a nice stretch there. You can also bring the block to the heels if you'd like. So choose your own adventure. Know that's available for you if you'd like. On the inhale, y'all, let's lift that left leg up to the heavens. Exhale, lunge, step it through, guide it through, luxuriate the movement. You don't need to rush, remove the urgency. Backpack the hands onto the left knee, push the hands into the left knee. And hands come high. Find your lunge. Go ahead and micro bend that right knee so we can keep pulling that tailbone down, stretching to the front of the hips. We're gonna step it forward, one-legged Tadasana. Hands come forward, shift the hands forward, drag that right knee in, one-legged Tadasana, holding here. Exhale, hands come to heart center. Warrior three, keep this bent knee, this knee bent, so we're gonna find a double bent knee, warrior three, so light bend in the left, light bend in the right knee. Lunge, step it back, take your time. Inhale, hands come high. Exhale, warrior two, just drop your right heel, open it up. Warrior two, you can take some time to sink into the hips here. You can draw the hands to the hips and just find some flexion. Make sure it feels good for you. Exhale, exalt your warrior right hand to the back side of the thigh, left hand comes high to the heavens. Exhale, windmill the hands down to frame the inside 
of your left foot. Right hand roots, left hand comes high, sinking into that hip. Exhale, lower the right knee. And then drive your left hand to the left knee. Drag this right knee way back so you're in a lizard stretch and drive your hips forward. So we're sinking into the hips. Now you can find a little movement here. You can stir the hips if you'd like. <laughs> Try to relax the mouth and not to bite down on the jaw. If this bothers your wrists at all, you can always find fists. If this is very tight in the hips for you, like for Devin, you can bring the earth to you. Take your block and bring your right hand to the block. The higher the block, the more support you're offering to your body. So you're bringing the earth to you to reduce the depth of the posture. We got two more breaths here, y'all. Remember, if this bothers your knee, please pad your knee. One more breath here. Try to relax the mouth and the jaw. Final breath. Slowly come out of it. Take your time back, back, back and it up. Your hands are on the inside of the left foot. Heel toe it out to the left and then just step it back. Modified chaturanga, walk the hands forward. Shift the hips forward, hug those elbows in, lower onto the tummy. Chin kisses the mat. Inhale, cobra pose, little to no weight in the hands. Really use your tummy here. Exhale, chin kisses the mat. Inhale, tabletop. Exhale, cat pose, push the earth away, expand the vertebra up to the heavens. And then exhale from here, inhale from here, tuck the toes. Exhale, downward facing dog. Keep following that space in between the shoulder blades that you just did in cat pose. And we're just going to move to the opposite side. Inhale, right heel comes high to the heavens. Exhale, knee to the nose. Take some time. Use your belly to carry it forward. When you're ready, backpack the hands onto the right knee. Use that to brace your body. Push into the knee. Lift the heart up to the heavens. Crown of the head shines high. When you feel balanced here, hands come high. Find your lunge. Micro bend the back left knee to pull the tailbone down. Holding here for a few rounds. And you can pulse, just kind of sinking into the hips. You're grounding through your pelvic floor, through your womb, through the groin, using that as your center of gravity here. Inhale, let's draw the hands forward. One leg at Tadasana. Shift the hands forward, shift the weight into the right knee and really take some time stepping this left leg to the top of the mat, one leg at Tadasana. Exhale, hands to heart center. Double bent warrior three, so take a nice micro bend in the right knee. And tilt the heart forward, keep the belly engaged, and then slowly lunge. Take your time stepping that left leg to kiss the earth. Nice, hands come high, high lunge. And then when you're ready, open it up, warrior two. Remove the urgency, luxuriate over the movements, y'all. You can take a few moments here to sink into your warrior two. You can remove the hands if you would like. And then when you're ready, opening it up, finding your warrior two right here. Inhale, let's exalt our warrior. Right hand comes to the heavens, left hand might come to the back side of the thigh. Don't think about this as a back bend, so lengthen into your right side ribs. And exhale, slowly lower the hands on the inside of your right foot. Come onto the ball of that back, left toe. Right hand swims up to the heavens. Finding that twist, your eye gaze might look up at the palm or you might look down at your left hand. Choose what feels settling for you. Exhale. Take your time. Yep, use that block. There you go. Exhale, lower the hands on the inside of your right foot. Lower the left knee to kiss the earth. You're finding that lizard lunge again. So you can heel toe this right foot out. And notice the sensations on the side. The left side is going to feel very different than the right. Just noticing how the body holds energy. Depending on the sides, if you'd like to use your block on the side, go ahead and grab it. Choose the height of your choice. Right hand can come to the earth or to the knee. And I like to stir my hips 
just find a little bit of movement and it kind of helps me to breathe through the sensation try to relax the mouth and the jaw notice if you're biting down try to breathe here we're going to be here for three more rounds of breath now remember when you breathe your muscles breathe so the less contracted the breath is the more long elongated the breath is the more spaciousness you're breathing into the muscles that's also how we move into our parasympathetic nervous system our rest and digest center so really focus on long expansive breaths if it's short and spastic and you're feeling panicky move out of the posture move out of it one more breath here final round of breath Right hand comes to the inside of that right foot, heel toe the right foot out. And then when you have some spaciousness, you can just glide it back. Tabletop, modified chaturanga. Draw the hands forward, shift the hips forward, lower onto the tummy. Chin kisses the mat. Inhale, cobra pose, little to no weight in the hands. Exhale, chin kisses the mat. Inhale, tabletop. Exhale, right where we started, child's pose. Open those knees wide, let the belly and the chest fall through, y'all. You might notice a little bit more space there in the hips. If they're still feeling taut, remember you can keep the head elevated here with your block. Bring it under your chin or your third eye. Resting here for a few rounds of breath. few rounds of breath here, y'all. Settling in. I have my chin on the block, so I don't want to muffle my mic. Or if not, I'd have my third eye on the block. On the next inhalation, y'all, let's ripple it up tabletop. And exhale here. You can move your block or your book to the side. Inhale in through the nostrils. Exhale, find your cat pose. Inhale, tuck the toes. Underneath the feet, exhale, downward facing dog. Keep that spaciousness in between the neck and the shoulder blades. Inhale, right leg comes high. Exhale, step it through. Find your lunge. Backpack the hands onto the knee. Push into the knee to brace the body, and then when you're ready, hands come high to the heavens. Exhale, y'all know we got our one-legged Tadasana. Shift the hands forward, shift the weight forward. Take your time dragging this left knee in. Slow, 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 slow. Nice, one-legged Tadasana. Exhale, warrior three, hands come to heart center. Slowly extend that leg back, interlace the fingers here, and draw them right above your right knee. Use that to push into the knee and then extend the left leg back. Then slowly micro bend your right knee, drop your left toes, nice and slow. Warrior two, drop your left heel, windmill the arms open, up and around. Exhale, right hand comes to the inside of your right knee. Left hand comes right to the center of the legs. Now we did this on the knees already. So if you'd like to, you can come onto the knee, push the right hand gently into the right knee, and then sink into the hips. Now if that's too deep, bring the earth to you with a block. So you can control this depth. Sinking deeply into that hip. One more breath here. Exhale, lengthen out the right leg. Pivot the right toes in. Wide leg it forward, fold. <laughs> you can shift forward and back, forward and back, forward and back. And then settle in so the hips are stacked right over the heels. If the hamstrings are very taut, bring the earth to you with a block. If the knees start to buckle and shake, your body's saying, I need more slack, I need more grace. So give it to it by micro bending the knees. Try not to push and force, it's not required. A few rounds of breath here. 
On the inhale, y'all, let's find a halfway lift. Exhale, heels in, toes out. Goddess squat, hands on the inside of the knees. Gently pushing on the inside of the knees. You can rock to the left and the right. Also an option to stay stagnant. You can draw your elbows to the knees if you'd like, like Devin was doing. Inhale, hands come high. Exhale, warrior two, back to the top of the mat. Pivot your right toes to the top of the mat. Left toes come in so they're 90 degree angle or parallel to the back side of the mat. Exhale, lower the hands to frame your right foot. Option, if you'd like to draw your hands on the inside of your right foot, lower your left knee and step it back. Or you can step it back into a plank position. Find what feels settling for you. Option to drop the knees, modified chaturanga, or you can shift forward on the toes, lower halfway. Inhale, cobra, option for up dog. Find what feels settling for you. Exhale, flip the toes. Downward facing dog. Try to find that cat shape through your spine to draw the shoulders away from the ears. We're gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. Inhale, the left heel is gonna come high to the heavens. Exhale, lunge, step it through. Take some time here, backpack your hands onto your left knee. Push into the knee and lift the heart and the chest when you feel ready. Micro bend your right knee, hands come high. Find your high lunge. Holding here for a breath. I'm just gonna teach them for a moment. Y'all can watch and practice as well. <laughs> Inhale, shift the hands forward. Shift the weight into the left knee. Slowly one leg it stops and drag that right foot in slow, slow. Slow, slow. Exhale, hands come to heart center. Warrior three, slowly tilt the heart forward, extend the right leg back, slow. Take your time, take your time, there you go. Interlace the hands together, draw them right above your left knee. Push into your left knee, extend that right leg back, back. Keep it lifted, keep it lifted, keep it lifted. There you go, there you go. Now lunge, step it back, there you go. Inhale. Warrior two, windmill the arms up and around. Nice, take a moment here to settle into your warrior two. Find what feels settling for you. Bending into this left knee. Exhale, slowly bring left hand inside of the knee. Opposite hand comes to the earth. All right, push into that left knee. There you go, sinking into it. If you need to bring the earth to you, you can use your block here. You can control the depth. There you go. One more round of breath here, y'all. Continue to find your breath. On the inhale, slowly lengthen out that left knee. Nice, pivot the left toes forward towards Mia, towards you. We're facing you, Mia. Hands come on the inside or to the block and then just sit forward and back on the toes and heels. Forward and back, forward and back, forward and back. And then start to settle in so the hips are stacked right over your heels. So right here, right over your heels. A little forward more here. Now if the knees start to buckle, then just go ahead and use your block so you can bring your hands to your blocks if you need to. There you go. Awesome. Resting here for a few rounds of breath. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, heels in. Draw your toes out, bend through the knees, and then invite the hands to the inside of your knees for your goddess squat. You can bring your elbows there if you prefer, and then just take a moment to shift left and right. 
left and right, left and right. Devin, bring your heels in a little bit more. There you go. Got to keep those toes covered, don't we? <laughs> Shifting left and right, left and right. <laughs> Worst thing is if you wear them in the, um, yeah. in the pool. if you wear them in the pool, I'm judging you. Oh no! <laughs> slowly from here, lengthen out. Hands come high. Star pose. Exhale, warrior two. Pivot your left toe to the front of the mat. Back foot is parallel to the back of the mat, and slowly windmill the hands down. Now from here, you can windmill the hands down to frame your left foot, or you can draw the hands on the inside of the left foot and step it back if you'd like. Dropping the knees, modified chaturanga or plank pose. Choose your adventure here. Inhale, shift forward if you're in plank. Exhale, lower halfway. Inhale, cobra option for up dog. Exhale, drop the knees. Child's pose right where we started. Hips open wide. Allow the belly and the chest to fall through. Dropping the forearms here. I'm gonna keep my head elevated so I don't block my mic. But if you'd like to, you can bring your block underneath your head. And if you're still feeling taunt in the hips, you can just stack the hips over the knees. Stay elevated. Choose your own adventure. few more rounds of breath here. Inhale, y'all. Let's ripple it up tabletop. Exhale, come to sit in Varasana Thunderbolt just for a moment. The hands are going to come to the right side of the hips. Devin's falling asleep. You're going to shift your hips to the right and just glide your legs out <laughs> to the left. <laughs> I'm like, y'all, stay awake. Now from here, bend the knees, palms face up to the heavens, and a giving and receiving notion, y'all. Let's go back, back, vertebra by vertebra. Gravity's going to want to take you down. I want you to kind of cut through it like cheese. When the back of the heart kisses the mat, hug the knees in. You can clasp the front of the knees or behind the knees. Find what feels settling for you. Rock left and right, left and right. And from here, extend the left leg, hug the right knee in. Keep that left leg long. Clasp behind the thigh and begin to interlace the hands behind the thigh. And just hug it in. Glide it out past the rib cage, the right ribs. And hug it in a little bit deeper so you can sink into that hip. Notice the spaciousness there if it's available. The spaciousness you just created. You have the option to stay here with the hand behind the thigh. You have the option to grab the ankle or the inside or outside of the foot for a half happy baby bending through that knee. Choose your own adventure here. Now, if you're really tight in the hips, you can always use a strap here, but you can always stay where Devin is, just clasping behind the thigh with the leg extended. Always grab a strap as well and then bind this around your foot. So if you have a strap, you can use this variation as well. And then if you can, I want you to micro bend that right knee, Devin. Yep, bend it out to the right so you're bypassing. There you go. Not the foot, the knee. Bend the knee. Bend the knee. Bend the knee. There you go. Holding there for a few rounds of breath. So you can do this variation with the strap. You can clasp behind the thigh like me and I are. We're gonna be here for a few more rounds of breath.
On the next inhalation, just release the right foot, extend it. If you have a strap, you can just move it to the side. And then just hug the left knee in. You can clasp the front of the knee or behind the knee, and we're just gliding it out to the left like we're opening a book. All right, so we're just opening the hips out to the left. There you go. Now from here, interlace the fingers behind the left thigh. And hug that left thigh in. And when you're ready, begin to extend the leg, the shin up to the heavens. Option to stay here in this half happy baby, clasping behind the thighs. Option to take your left hand to the ankle, the foot or the inside or outside of the big toe or the outer toe. Or you can use your strap here, so you can use that variation. So you can see Mia has the back side of her thigh and she's bending through the knee. You want to find that bend in the knee, so bend through the knee, bend through the knee, bend through, there you go. And then I also have my left big toe, so you have three options of making this shape happen in your body depending on where you are today and where your body's feeling. And then noticing how it feels on the left or the right side, just knowing you see how your body holds energy. Oh, it's raining. Feels like Seattle today. Two more rounds of breath here, y'all. Final round of breath. Slowly release the left foot, hug both knees into the body. You can clasp the front of the knees or behind the knees, rock left and right, left and right, left and right on the low back. Extend the feet up to the heavens, hands up to the heavens. Just hang out here for a moment. Soft bend the knees, no need to strive, no need to push. Relax the backs of the shoulders into the earth. And take a fluid inhale here and exhale lower the feet to the earth, just coming back to the earth. Feet might kiss the earth here, and then the hands might join in, finding your final resting posture, Shavasana. Remember, Shavasana is more of a state of being than a pose, so you can take whatever shape you'd like here. But if you would like to take one of the three, you have the option to stay here with the knees bent. If this supports the low back, you have the option to draw the bottoms of the feet in for Supta Baddha Konasana, or you can extend the legs out long for Shavasana, or that traditional Shavasana shape, find what feels settling for you. I invite you to close the eyes here. You can keep the eyes open if that feels safe for your body. Coming into your final resting posture, maybe bringing your hand to your womb, just reminding you of your sacral center. Now for the sake of the video, y'all, you gotta close things out. But I want you to know you can stay here longer if you would like. Stay in Shavasana as long as you need to. Or you can join us in slowly coming up. But if you do wanna stay longer, please know that you can. I invite you to roll to the left or the right side into a fetal position. Slowly making your way up to a seated position of your choice. You can sit on that block if you would like, Devin. I don't know where it is. I always like to sit in Varasana, so that's what I'm gonna do here. You can choose whatever feels settling for you. I invite you to close your practice with whatever hand mudra feels intuitive to you and showcases gratitude for our practice today. Traditionally, palms are drawn together at heart center, a little space in between the palms, thumbs pressing to heart center, y'all. Take a fluid inhale in through the nostrils.
exhale out of the mouth, H A. We'll each repeat one time. I've done my best. I leave the rest. Y'all gotta say it. Come on. <laughs> I've done my best. I leave the rest. Thank y'all. Thank y'all for joining me for practice today. Remember to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to follow your girl on the gram at Yoga by Biala, as well as my online yoga school at ia.well. Continue to be well and I'll see you very soon, y'all.